Lord, that you didn't came here with. We pray, God.
preaching just to say I'm preaching yeah. and this is the way preaching is supposed to be. Right. No. Right. Um, right. So I had to learn. Right. Yeah. Let the word Christian say, whether right. you accept my apology or not, I apologize to you guys so that I can move on into the thing of God. make a way out of nowhere. Yeah. 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 So what I found out about people in this war is that they refuse to change. Yeah. 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 And, and so the change is there before you, uh -huh. but we are afraid to change yeah. because we've been doing a thing yeah. for so long. Yeah. Yeah. Just because it's a so long thing don't mean it's the right thing. Yeah. on change and yet to really show me something really break some things down to break down strongholds that had built up in me and so now that God is really getting me to that place that he wanted me to be and let me share something with you he promised me great things yes. but here is what he told me you will never walk into the great thing mm. until you accept the change. My yeah. Lord. Yeah. It's one thing to hear the change. Uh, it's another thing to accept the change. Yeah. That's right. And see, when change comes, sometimes your pride yeah. is broken. Yeah. But you will never taste the grace right. if you don't know how to humble yourself. Yeah. Because it's not a what the people say about you. All right, it's all right. about what he says. So there were many great things that were spoken over my life. Yes. And God said, they're still there. Right. But they will not come to pass unless you let me change you. Yeah. 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 Now I'm talking about me. Yeah. See, there is a way that sees this thing as as a sinner. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Church folk. Yeah. There is a way that this apostle, that this pastor yeah. was preaching and doing things that seemed right. Yeah. 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 
passion and you tell someone I'm led by the spirit and I was not led by the spirit of God I thought I was and some people probably told me probably heard in the message but that's not for me and then God breaks you down thank God for prayer See, things will, things will go right on just like it's going. Mm-hmm. And then you. Mm-hmm. And you want to measure. How could I go around the same mountain and then measure? How could I go around the same mountain and then measure? How could I go around the same mountain and then measure? I'm reading the Bible. It's like I'm not reading the Bible. Jesus. Then the Bible said that you shall lay hands on the sick and the sick. But I'm reading the Bible, but the Bible. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. And then the Lord told my wife and I, he said, what I'm doing in the both of you, no man will take credit. Amen. Now listen. No, no man will take credit. So in other words, I don't care who you connect yourself with. They'll never tell you I made you great. When Abraham, listen, Abraham made this statement. You would never tell a man that you made me. I'm paraphrasing. Come on, come on. So I don't want it. Because you ain't going to tell nobody. Not what God is doing. Many times I try to help God. I'm talking about me. Many times I try to help God. Mm. He needs help. He's a great dog, but he needs help. <laughs> He's a little slow. <laughs> you're a lot slow. It's me. You're missing it, my son. And then he began to break things down, and he began to show me what life was like. And as he began to teach me, he began to show me things. Then, and only then, could I look and see the plans of the enemy in people's lives. But I had to realize, I had to see the plan of the enemy in my life. The enemy don't want any of us to get to the story. Don't want no, listen, oh, the Supreme, oh, you kept it. You kept it, but you're going in the wrong direction. It's not about praising the gift. It's about praising the giver. Man, I was going in the wrong direction. And I blame no man. I blame me. For coming into the body of Christ, not knowing because of babe, not knowing which way. Lord Jesus. And the enemy placed before me a home that looked at right. But not knowing that the form was religious. And so I became religious rather than relationship based. The only one I know that can break the struggle. He began to work in me. And he's still working in me. Because of what the Lord was doing and still is doing. He told me, he said, the devil had been before me. 11 days inquiring of you. Jesus. But I won't let him have his way. Amen. All right. Jesus. See, that's why, that's why I made the statement and I said, listen, you tell somebody. You tell somebody, listen, I'm going. If you don't want to go, you stay. It ain't personal. It's not personal. A young lady told me, she said, I spent 50 years serving the devil. The last 50 years of my life, let me give it to God. Amen. It is personal. It's not personal. It's spiritual. I can't be a help to you 
shall I myself be strong. Amen. 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 So now I'm enjoying it. I'm not that person I do. Same name. Look at life. You think you got things planned. And I thought that's the way more of this is the way a Christian is supposed to be. And I'm, I'm supposed to be like this one. And I'm reading the Bible. And I'm going around the same script, the same script. But God, why? Why isn't this happening, Jesus? Why isn't that happening? And then he began to tell me. Study the life of the disciples. They gave up all. What have you given up? Come on now. Jesus. Listen. Listen. This is what he told me. This is what he told me. The thing that I didn't give up were the things that he approached me. He said, give me the children. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, God. Here you go. You have it. You take care of it. This was the hardest. This was harder than the children. Mm -hmm. Give me faith in the word of ministry. <laughs> That's difficult because you, you have formed your life around the church. Oh, God. And God said, give me that. Oh, God. And don't worry about it. I'll take care of them. Because if you give them to me, I'll deal with them individually. But if you don't give them to me, then you're telling me you will deal with them individually. You're telling me that you know how to get the gift out of them. But if you give them to me, I'll bring out of them what it says. Now, let me tell you something. The battle isn't easy. Not, not the giving heart. The battle isn't easy because of the stand you have made. The direction you're headed now. Because where you thought you were going in one direction and you realized God was here, you had to turn. And it wasn't easy making the turn. Because everything that you were turning away from was still calling you. And so the turn wasn't easy. But God was saying you can do it. How much do you love me? How much are you willing to follow me? Everything else still calls. Don't leave us. Stay with us. Don't leave us. Stay with us. I had to turn. Because I was telling him I love him. But my action was saying something else. I love you, but I don't trust you. That's personal. I love you, but I don't trust you. God, I love you, but I don't trust you. God, I've given you certain things, but I don't trust you with these things. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. See, this is the part that really give me a minute. But God, you placed this in me from birth. Give it to me. And the reason why I'm asking you to give it to me, because you are so attached to it. When you give it, you'll come with it. When you give it, you'll come with it. See, he told me, I allow you to minister and to let you see how powerful the anointing is so that you will fall in love with it. And I waited for a season to ask you to give it to me because I know that you were so attached to it that when you give it, you'll come with it. Oh, 
Thank you, God. Some of you are at that point. Some of you are at that point. Listen, you Greatness want to come out of you. Greatness can't come out of you. Until some things change. Thank you, God. Greatness can't change. You, listen, I don't have to ask. Because, listen, I, I knew what was in me. And I don't have to ask you what's in you. The Spirit of the Lord will reveal to you yes. Lord, why you're not there yet. Oh if it's not personally spiritual, He will reveal to you why you're not there yet. Yes. 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 They shall lay hands. It said, them that believe. They drink everything there. Any poisonous thing. That's where you're going. Not to drink something poisonous, but to listen, to walk in a way that no matter what the enemy brings to you, you look at it as life affliction. Yes. Mm. Mm. Life affliction. That happened. Life affliction. That happened. Life affliction. The affliction, these things come to cause you to turn back. To the yeah. thing that's calling you. Yeah. But if you can stay focused yeah. on the God that holds you, yeah. you will realize that those things are light of affliction. Yeah. 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 God told me, He said, He told my wife now, He said, This level that I'm taking you to. It's not easy. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I told him today, I said, listen, it is something when you go home and you want to sleep and can't sleep. Because the enemy is doing everything he can to try to destroy your mind. Because he knows that you're a threat to him. Listen, I was just telling him, why are you after me when you should be after the God who called me? Come on. Glory. See, he can't do anything with him. So he comes after the rest. He comes after the children. But when you get to the place, Said the greatest hindrance to that individual 
is his spouse. Paul said to live. Yeah. Now, you're not even yet. Yeah. 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 Baby, if you don't want to go, That's I will right. not let you stop yeah. what God has become yeah. in me. Because the very thing that is in you trying to stop me is not God. So if it is not God, then what devil is in you trying to sidetrack me? So it becomes oppressive. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do my duties as a husband. I'm gonna do my duties as a husband. But listen, when it comes down to this, I gotta do what God wants. Amen. 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 And then if you decide not to go, if you decide to just hang out, if you decide that this is the night we'll go out, if you decide this is the night we'll go, no, the devil is alive. The devil is alive. This is my time with God. And I'm going to the house of God. Because there's a word in the house of God. We spend time doing some things, but right now, no. He showed, he's showing how the enemy works. How the enemy works. And I had to learn this. Now where the Lord has taken me, I can see the enemy in people. In saints. Some will look at you when they see you looking, they turn. And God showed that's the enemy. It's in the person. Listen, and people don't realize when these things are in you, they are not there just for you. They'll come up against the service. The man of God preaching and trying to get you to understand. And these spirits are trying to block you understand. That's why he placed these gifts in the church. Amen. You have some people that are great exalters. Amen. They can exalt. Jesus. Jesus. Oh my God. I'm still, I'm learning. I'm learning. But I promise you one thing. You would not get me on demonology. Amen. I know demons. Amen. And they manifest. Amen. And they give names. Amen. And they will tell you who belongs to them and who doesn't belong. Amen. They speak. Amen. And they obey. Amen. Because they have no choice. Amen. God speaks the word. Amen. They must obey. Amen. But it's you and I who have this free will. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It was me who had this free will. Yes. Oh, God, you're going to do a great thing in my life. Mm -hmm. you're gonna, Ten years ago, God, you're going to do a great thing in my life. You're going to do, I heard the words, prophecy came forth. And God, you're going to do, twenty years ago. And God, you're going to do, now you start wondering, wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. What's wrong with the great? Okay. What's wrong with the great? Uh, because I'm still stuck. Still I'm still stuck. Jesus. 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 Yes. Saints I had to learn distraction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Jesus. I had to learn. Oh, Jesus. 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 Saying where he was going. Mm -hmm. Peter speaks. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't Peter speaking. Mm -hmm. It was the spirit of the enemy yeah, in Peter. Mm -hmm. And Jesus immediately checked. Yeah. Yeah. Pick it up just like that. Get thee behind me, son. Because you don't even care about the things of God. Immediately. The Lord told me, he said, I have delivered you. I have set you free. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. The apostle got delivered three months. Three months. But now I'm free. Glory. Oh my God. I, if I was you, I wouldn't tell nobody that. Not even somebody else's house. I know. <laughs> I wouldn't tell nobody that. Not even someone else. You know, and here it is. This thing going to be a lie. Listen, I wouldn't tell nobody that. Listen, it takes you telling that to so that someone else. <laughs> What was taking me 
so long to get there. Come on, and right. why I could not press forward. Mm -hmm. And what was going on? And the Lord said, yes. They in you. They who? <laughs> Nothing in me but the Holy Ghost. <laughs> no. They are in you. And if you give me three months, I'll set you free. And I'm going to give you instruction. And you follow the instruction. And in three months, I will have delivered you. And so when the instruction came, let me tell you how simple the instruction was. This is simple. God said, I want you to pray with your wife every night. Take the anointing oil, anoint your forehead, put some on your tongue, anoint your stomach. When you lay in the bed, grab a hand and pray. He didn't say how long. He didn't say what type of prayer. He just said pray. And do this for 90 days. Jesus. And I would have said before. Yes. Now that he sent me, he focused now on the thing that I gave him. He focused on the church. And he began to give instruction on getting the ministry for you. Now that you have admitted, see, this, this is what people, this is what, this was my problem. When God started giving the instruction, this was my problem. God started giving the instruction. God started telling me what was. That didn't mean. That didn't mean. Man, I'm thinking on these things. Ponder on these things like Mary did. And I came to the conclusion. This is me. These things are in me. Jesus. And then the Spirit of the Lord said, you said right. But until I can admit it, I was saying wrong. And if I never admit it, it meant I didn't need no help. Oh, God did Oh, my goodness. Oh, when the power of God began to manifest itself. See, God is like this. He will take people that have called on their life, not everybody, take people that have called on their life, and he's very respectful. Very respectful. Very, 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 very wise. I'm not going to expose their life. I'm going to let them come to me and I'll give them instructions on what to do. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. 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 Give the instructions. There were people that the Lord told me, tell them what I told you and what I did for you. And tell them to do it for the next 90 days and I'll set them free. Amen. Jesus. You know what they said? Yeah. God want to set me free. He set me free right in the service. You don't want to be embarrassed. Mm, come on. Amen. Because it'll cause the parishioners to look at you differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they see you walling on the floor yeah, yeah, yeah. and gagging and pulling yeah. out of your mouth, someone lose respect for you. Yeah, yeah. Right. So tell them to do it my way. But if you want to do it that way, it's no problem. I will lay hands at you. When God took me to that room, here's what I tell demons and I tell people. I ain't wrestling with you. That's right. That's right. That's right. The only reason I will sweat in casting out demons is because it's hot. But I'm not going to wrestle with no demons. No, the devil is alive. I had my days of that in training. Yeah. <laughs> The Lord told us this. It was so bad. The Lord told us. He said, "I'm speeding up the process." I said, "Speed the process up." But this is taking too long. But when the process was speeding up to the point to where you said a word and it came out. So it didn't take overnight. It took some time. You had to be trained. You had to be taught. Most of 
the saints. They want it, but they don't want to go through the process. Yeah. Yeah. So let me tell you something. The devil comes. Yes. Yes. He's coming because now you're afraid. Yes. He's coming. The person that you think the devil is and is, is coming. Yes. The person that you think the devil is not in, is coming. And the devil coming in that person to sidetrack. The Lord told me, he said, be careful how you attach or connect yourself with the Lord. Because the devil is in people. Some he's not in, some he's on. And all he's waiting on to get close to you so he can connect. I told him in my life, I had to learn. Oh, I had to learn. Because he told me, you did some things you had no business doing. And you thought that all you had all you had to do was come to me and ask for forgiveness. No. It don't work like that. You know what my Bible, you know what my word says. I told you to touch not. Handle not the unclean thing. And the only reason the ministry was still growing is because of my grace on your life. But I cannot take it any further until you get delivered upon my In the process of it. <laughs> you're not going to be effective in ministry Jesus. until you're free. Amen. I know we look for scriptures and all the stuff, and you know, there's no demon in me, whatever, and stuff like that. We look for scripture. You, you've seen it in here. You've seen it in here. Spirits manifest in a person that has been saved. Amen. That is saved. Jesus. So it's possible. Amen. 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 Lord. But he, whom the Lord Amen. has set free. Oh my God. I can walk and tell a person and tell the devil no way. Formed against me, shall prosper. The Lord told me it was a long ago. Just why He said someone. He was talking about it. He said someone is putting dust around the church. But it ain't gonna fit. Because they don't want the ministry to be successful. But God said, my hand is on you. Yes, God. Amen. My hand is on you. You didn't chose me. I chose you. My hand is on you. This is what he told me. He said, my hand is on you. And there were many pastors that I gave what I'm placing on you to them. But they wouldn't receive it. They wouldn't accept change. They didn't have a desire for it. And now that you have this desire, I'm giving you things that those pastors were supposed to have. Some are dead and gone. But what God gave is still in the atmosphere. No, it wasn't supposed to be yours. But I chose to give it to you yeah. because you have a desire for me. Hallelujah. I don't understand all that, but give it to me. Thank you. I don't understand all that you're doing, but give it to me. Yeah. I don't understand where you're taking me, but give it to me. Yeah. I don't understand all that you tell me, but help me. Yeah. All right. That's right. Let's go. It makes a difference when you got a wife that can hear from God. She ain't this dead decorated. Come on. You got to get a word. Come on. I don't need a decorated wife. Come on. But listen, let me, let me share something with you. That's the bottom. But I need to know how your spirit is. So that's where I'm going to need your help. What I don't see, you see. Thank you. Come on, preacher. Thank you. The Lord just told her a couple of 
couple of weeks ago. No, a couple of days ago. He said, that's why I put you together. You got her back? Yeah. Come on. She got your back. Yeah. And there are times when you, she'll come to me and tell me, later on, you know, stuff. This person ain't no good for you. My Lord. The Lord show me some stuff. Jesus. All right. Jesus. And I will do this. All right. Glory. Back I'll back away. Yes. Yes. I'll hide behind the pole. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. So God gets to hide. Because right. ministry, listen, let me share something with you. I look at people that are hurting. Yeah. You have to look at things through the eyes of God. Yeah. I see people that are sick. Yeah. I see people that are trouble. Yeah. People that are burdened. Yeah. And they need help. Yeah. And in this area, uh -oh. the devil has made a statement. I got the area. Mm -hmm. Because everybody else want to be in religion. Mm -hmm. Who do you think you are to try to break? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, help us God. God called me. Amen. God anointed me. If God didn't want me to know this, he wouldn't reveal it to me. Amen. So since he revealed it to me, I want it. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Believe. Thank you, God. You won't die before your time. Amen. I believe that. Glory. That's what he's going to do in you. But you have to get to the place to where, okay, God, let me say, let me get it If it's not like you get it out, listen. Spirits are not always in a person, it's on them. It's not always in a person. It's on them. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Jesus. That's right. Jesus. It's just as effective Jesus. to hover over them uh -huh. as to be on them right. as to be in them. That's right. That's right. Jesus. Watch these people that are double minded. Jesus. Come on. Jesus. Jesus. Come on. Jesus. And the Lord really had to do something Jesus. in me. I want him to use me in the state that I'm in. Oh, no. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, help us go. If I use you in the state that you're in, the enemy has a right to come to God. <laughs> and God has to pardon him. Jesus. Jesus. That's not going to happen. Jesus. God is not going to pardon Satan. That's right. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But you and I. Jesus, Jesus. can be pardoned. We can be forgiven. Yes, yes, yes. We can be given a second chance. Yes. A third chance. Yes. We can be given a... I'm telling you, God will expose witches in your community. Yes. Jesus, Jesus. He will expose it Jesus. in your community. I told some, some saints there at a prayer group. I told them the Lord gave me the thing. I told them, I said, listen, what the enemy does is he built up momentum in the spirit. Yeah, and then you start seeing the effect of everything that was built up. Jesus. That's why you see all these young people getting killed. Jesus. But with saints, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Wait, wait, what, what, what are we doing? Jesus. Apostle, what are you doing? Wait, what are we, what, what, think about now. Think about what are we doing? Or what are we doing? Think about it. Oh, you know, so and so child got killed. We didn't ask how. We didn't ask why. We didn't ask what was going on. We just let it go. Jesus. God, what happened? Jesus. Jesus. What happened? Oh, it's the life of that child. The child lived a rotten life, but it's still somebody child. Yeah. 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 So the enemy built that momentum Jesus, Jesus. in the spirit. Jesus, Jesus. And as he built that momentum, yes. he started doing it. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Then you start seeing the result. Of I remember when the Lord had us all praying for the city of Georgetown. Just pray for the city of Georgetown. Demon spoke and said, she want to pray for the city. How dare she want to pray for the city? So we asked one demon, who got the city bound, bound down? Satan got the city. Got it. Now, if the city of Georgetown is, is a bondage, what about the community we live in? Amen. Yes, Lord. 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 Y
Right. But the light is in the community. Mm -hmm. But the light ain't doing too good. Jesus. And this is what the enemy, this is what the enemy were doing to me. The light wasn't doing too good. When you show up in a community, you should shake the atmosphere. Before you enter the community, the enemy should be fighting you because of what you're getting ready to bring to that end, to that own community. Come on. That's right. He knows a threat is coming in my territory. Listen, demons are territorial. They are territorial. When the old man said he was a straight Satanist, straight Satanist, and he didn't care. He knew what he was. He was brought up that way. And he said anytime he wanted to curse a church, he'd go to the church and lay hands on the church, and the church was cursed. Mm -hmm. Now, if that is true, then any time that a church seems to be cursed in our community, when it shouldn't be, you and I should be able to go to that church and lay hands on that church and break the curse. I want to go with you. Jesus. I thought the lady knew the man. She didn't know him. Came in the church, sat down. As soon as he sat down, I'm up there talking and teaching. I called the teacher. I called the preacher. I was talking. The man cry out, we are legion. For we are many. In the first. Jesus. Well, if he had said that in certain churches, the people would have panicked. Yeah. But in faith in the word ministry, we had already dealt with that. Uh -huh. So we knew. Yes. Glory. Nobody didn't panic. Nobody didn't move. The man said it again. We are legion, for we are many. Okay, good. It's time to deal with it. I don't want to deal with you, but it's time to deal with it. Stand up and come here. He got up. He walked around. He was some kind of whatever he was doing. Turned and came to me, got right to me, and went down on his knees. Jesus. 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 We began to pray for him and began to command the demon to talk. The demon said that his granddad gave him to the devil when he was a little boy. Now the, the young man was saved, played instrument and sang in the church and backslid. Yes, he's married to the backslide, but he want to deliver the backslide also. So I asked the young man, do you want to give your life like the Lord? He's telling me all these excuses and blah, blah. He's telling me it takes time, you know, to just kick habits out and all this stuff. Okay, there's no need to even get this young man delivered because if you get him delivered, he's going to go back to the next thing. It's going to get worse. So the best thing to do is just let him go. So I let him, I let him go. He wasn't ready. You pray. 
that the devil would have his way to bring him to Christ. Because the devil was running to God. Especially if there's a calling there. God won't let the devil destroy him. Come on, come on. Oh my God, the enemy. Jesus. Man, look at this. Yes. The enemy is attacking my foot. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to move my foot and they won't move. Let go. Listen, he is attacking this foot because he knows his plan is being revealed. I got to say it earlier. What happens if people don't realize this part is that just because the enemy is in and you don't know he's there, listen, he will attack somebody right in the service from you. All right, all right. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Come on. Because have you ever been in service and place and you say, oh my goodness, there's a great anointing in it. But what's wrong? Which one? And you begin to feel something coming up against you because the enemy knows you're afraid. Come on, come on. And he begins to attack you. I was talking to a person, this is what the enemy did. When he started attacking me, I'm talking to the enemy. And the enemy started, listen, attacking. My head started doing like this. But it wasn't moving. Come on. And the Lord says, the spirit attacking you. Because of who you are in me. But I won't let it destroy you. I just want you to know what is attacking you. Listen, I went down to the, the, the historical area in Georgetown. Just riding the bike through. And, the, and and I felt the attack come. Come on, come on. And here's what the Lord told me. He said, all these people down in here, these block doctors and lawyers, and all these type of people like businessmen and stuff, come on. They worship in the kingdom of darkness. Come on. And so when someone enters their territory come on. that represents me, the attack comes to you. Jesus. I just want you to feel the attack. Oh my God. My wife and I we went on vacation. We was in Asheville. And let me tell you something. God told him if you had stayed at this motel, mm. they would have to take you to the hospital. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. And we had already paid a man $700, almost $800 to stay there. Mm. Jesus. Help us, God. <laughs> this is like, like this right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like war. Jesus. They believe in yoga. Mm -hmm. God. Come on, come on. I didn't say he knew. <laughs> <laughs> Worshiping, <laughs> Satan, all this stuff. And the ladies explained all, all this stuff. And my head doing like this. And my wife was under the attack. My Lord. We go up and check the room. I'm looking at her. And I'm, I'm hurt. I'm looking at her. And there is no TV in the room. Jesus. I go back, we go back to the front desk. Man, there ain't no TV in that desk, in the room. The lady said, oh, our guests don't come here for TV. Boy. They come here to clear their mind. Give me my money back. <laughs> Give me my money back. If they don't want to watch TV, turn the TV off. Give me my money back. Well, we can't give you your money back. Listen. I ain't staying here tonight. <laughs> so we went and got another hotel room. I told my wife, I said, I'm going back. When the next morning came, I'm going back to get my money. <laughs> I went down to the front desk, asked the lady, said, they can't keep your money. You didn't stay. Went back down there. The lady said, we just called you to let you know that you can come pick up your money. <laughs> 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 give me back my money. Give me back my money. 
No. The Lord, then the Lord spoke and said, if you stay there, both of you would have wound up in the hospital. Because you are a threat to what he has set up as his. See, it's only after you get delivered is that you begin to experience these things. It's only after you get delivered that you can see it. We had um, one young lady got delivered. When she got delivered, her spine straightened up. And we know that the devil is called sickness. Her spine straightened up. When she got delivered. Yeah. But the doctor had already diagnosed her with scoliosis. Yeah. And we found out that, listen, there's a demon that causes AIDS. That's right. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. See, God had revealed so much uh -huh. of the enemy's plan that if I can kill him, I'll kill him. Jesus. But I tell him like this. You can't kill that which is dead. Amen. If everything that moved me, I've given it to the Lord. I'm dead to those things. So the very thing that you bring to me is dead. I don't have to have it to survive. I have to have God to make it. I don't need those things to live. I don't need money to live. Jesus. Come on. So you want me to preach you happy? Go to St. John 1 and 14. I'll preach you happy. I'm still under the attack. But I refuse to let the enemy. Because there are certain things that the Bible says this sickness is not under death. Right. 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 But this was done so that the Father could be glorified. This was allowed so that the Father could be glorified. When you look at certain sickness and certain situations, you ask the question. I remember sitting talking to a young lady, she's a doctor, but her child is kind of messed up. And the thing came to me sitting there. Who said? I don't know. I, I really don't know God. And God said, who sent? The child, the parent, or the grandparent? That the child was born in this condition. All right, all right. And so when you face the fact, God can do something. Yes, That's right. Yes, yes. Okay, God, I messed up that the child was born in this condition. Uh -huh. But if I let you do a work in me, yes. that condition has yes. to be changed. And God began to do a work. Glory. Yes, God. He began to do a work. He began to bring about change. Yes, God. He began to break strongholds. Yes. Wait, is this your reading? Yes, sir. This is Bishop Lewis talk. That's what he John chapter 1, verse 14, the New International Version. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Listen to me. And the Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. Yeah. Listen, say, say it again. And the Word became flesh. Yeah. And the Word and the word became flesh. And the word became flesh. Listen to this. Where is the word? Today. Where is the word today? Where is the word today? The Bible said it is within you. So if the word is in you, then the word is in flesh that is dwelling among us today. So there should be something that so that represent the glory of God coming from you. Yeah. 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 
about you. I knew you were called. I knew God called you. I knew God saved you. Now listen, don't take it personal. Don't take it personal when people start telling you I don't like you. I don't want nothing to do with you. You get out of my presence. You get out of my house. Don't come around here. Don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. Just pray. Just pray for me. Just pray for me. Just pray for me. Because when they reject you, they are rejecting the people that You have set the atmosphere. Baby. You have set the atmosphere. God's glory is in this place. And the Lord has taught us. He told us, He said, When my glory shows up, that's when you can begin to put a demand on my life. See, it ain't about the house. But you got a neighbor someplace who's in a condition that they need change. And you begin to put a demand on the world. See, we, the glory show that we, we just didn't know what to do. We didn't know. Somebody was shouting, they were jumping, they would have a good time. But the, when the glory shows up, you must know what to do. I remember in worship one time, and God told us, He said, I'm here. Now, what do you want? Hey, God. And nobody could say what they want. All we could do is scream. Run around the church and know what could say what they wanted. That's the time to pour out. That's the time to pour out. Do it If you really want God to move with compassion on you, begin to pray for your neighbor too. Do it in them, God. Do it in them, God. Because I know you're going to do it in me, but do it in them. They may not be praying the same prayer, but God opened their understanding. That they can see it the way you show it to me, God. The word my son has spoken is correct. And I hear the Lord say, if you receive it, I will begin the work. And I hear the Lord say, in 90 days you will see the change.